Shao Kahn is easily the most beloved boss in Mortal Kombat history, and it's easy to see why. He's massive and imposing with an awesome costume to match. His attacks are powerful as well as brutal. And then for the cherry on top, he insults you as he fights. So today, let's celebrate the greatest boss in Mortal Kombat history with 10 awesome facts about Shao Kahn. In fact, scratch that. We're doing more than 10 facts because Shao Kahn is simply amazing. Leave a like down below for Shao Kahn. There's so many awesome facts about Shao Kahn, it would be a waste to stop at 10. If you also happen to know any cool facts about Shao Kahn, make sure to post them in the comments section down below. And without any further ado, let's begin. Awesome fact number one, Shao Kahn taught soul magic to Shang Tsung. That's right, the very first boss in Mortal Kombat history owes his entire gimmick to Shao Kahn. If not for his boss, Shang Tsung would have nothing iconic to his name. He couldn't go, your soul is mine, in the first movie. That was Shao Kahn's thing. Which I find very interesting, because he never actually does transform into his opponent when fighting, but I think I understand why. Nine times out of ten, Shao Kahn is already the strongest guy in the room, so why would he swap a body with his opponent? That would effectively just make him weaker, so there's no point. However, Keep in mind Shao Kahn's been alive for many, many years, so maybe back when he was younger, it was actually useful to use the Soul Steel ability. However, at this point in time, only a handful of characters can even step to him, so there's no point in using Soul Steel. And before you ask, yes, this is still canon even in the Netherrealm timeline. In fact, we see it in the story mode. Your boy Shao Kahn straight up yeets Shang Tsung's soul right out of his body and then gives it to his hoe, which is downright disrespectful in so many ways, but that makes sense for the ruler of Outworld. Now, if you're wondering why he never does this to anybody else, like Liu Kang, or Raiden, pretty much any of his opponents, that part I couldn't actually tell you. Maybe Shang Tsung just had his guard down for some reason, and normally it's hard to rip the soul from somebody's body? I have no idea, but hey, it's confirmed that Shao Kahn can still do soul magic even in the Netherrealm reboot. And also keep in mind, Shao Kahn's ability to steal souls is why he's so powerful at the end of MK9 and Mortal Kombat 3. Because don't forget, he used the souls of Earthrealm to make himself more powerful. So yeah, the guy's a master of soul magic. Awesome fact number two, Shao Kahn taught blood magic to Scarlet. Yeah, that's right, this guy knows everything and just teaches it to all of his interns. If you're an employee of Shao Kahn, you're gonna learn some really cool magic of some kind, because this guy's a jack of all trades. However, here's where things get weird and confusing, because to my understanding, this is only canon in Mortal Kombat 11, when Scarlet had to learn blood magic, because in Mortal Kombat 9, she was born already able to do it because she's made out of pure blood. As many of you watching already know, Netherrealm has no problem retconning their own stories, so apparently Shao Kahn can also do blood magic now. And once again, for some reason, we never see him use it, and Unlike the soul magic, I'm not sure why, because I think Shao Kahn could benefit from doing some blood magic every now and then. However, it could be that his hits are just so strong that why would he use blood magic? Maybe his hammer works just fine, so why waste any energy on blood magic when blunt force does the trick just fine? Awesome fact number three, Shao Kahn was originally a god, just like Raiden. Yes, that was the original idea for his character. Raiden was the god of Earthrealm, whereas Shao Kahn was the god of Outworld. That was the original concept, however, at some point it got changed. However, even so, it is an interesting fact and also helps to explain why Shao Kahn is so godly powerful. Shao Kahn. Lucifer and Raiden are of the same race of beings. Awesome fact number four, Shao Kahn is over 10,000 years old. Yeah, he's been around for a hot minute. The word OG gets tossed around a lot, but just so we're clear, Shao Kahn is one of the oldest characters in the entire series that you can play as. Which may have you wondering, how is he not dead? Does he live forever? No, my guess is soul magic. Because keep in mind that that's why Shang Tsung is still alive. That guy should have croaked from old age a long time ago, but he just steals your soul and stays young forever. And I imagine it's the exact same case for Shao Kahn. The man's never gonna die of old age because he just keeps on stealing souls. Awesome fact number five, Shao Kahn's name is a parody of the word Shogun, which is likely why his helmet looks so similar to a samurai helmet, along with some of his armor as well. The Mortal Kombat series has always been very on the nose with the characters' names. I mean, for Pete's sake, Katana's name is very close to Katana, and that's not an accident. And then you have Vorai Cho, which means drunk, and Shujinko, which means main character, literally. So it's obviously not a shock that Shao Kahn's name is literally a parody of the word Shogun. Awesome fact number six, and this is a funny one. So the costume designer for Mortal Kombat 11 made a big mistake. Many fans were quick to notice that Shao Kahn looks very different in Mortal Kombat 11, and so they asked why that is. And in response, the costume designer said this, because he's half dragon and all awesome. Yeah, Shao Kahn's not half dragon. He's never been half dragon. But guess who is? The Shokan, aka Goro and Shiva. They are half dragon. And as you can tell, Shokan sounds very similar to Shao Kahn, and I think the costume designer just got those two mixed up, and as a result, that's why 
Shao Kahn looks so different in Mortal Kombat 11, which I just find fascinating. The reason Shao Kahn looks so different, and honestly the best he's ever looked in Mortal Kombat 11, was due to a mistake. Awesome fact number 7, Shao Kahn was originally going to look the same as Baraka when his helmet came off, and that's because originally he was going to be the same species as Baraka. And in case you're wondering why, it's because the original plan was to have everybody from Outworld look like Baraka, it was all the same species. However, eventually that did get scrapped, for better or for worse. I think it's cool that Shao Kahn is like his own character, but at the same time, a really buff swole Baraka in armor would have been pretty cool. Awesome fact number 8, the actor modeling Shao Kahn in the original Mortal Kombat games was actually not very tall at all. However, he did have the muscles and build for the job, so the developers just scaled him up to be taller than everybody else. And I think there might be a lesson to learn there. It's not the size, it's how you use it, or maybe it's not about being tall, it's about going to the gym and being super swole. Awesome fact number 9, Shao Kahn is the narrator in pretty much every Mortal Kombat game. Even in the games where he's dead, Shao Kahn is still the narrator saying, round one, fight. And I mean, yeah, that's just the obvious choice, right? There's no voice more iconic than Shao Kahn, although the cool thing is in Mortal Kombat 11, you can change the narrator. However, even so, I just find it very funny that even when Shao Kahn is canonically dead, he does not stop being the narrator. He will never slack off on his duties to start the round, yell fatality, all that cool stuff. And now at last, it's time for the final fact, but this one is a bit tragic, because your boy Shao Kahn was not always the Emperor of Outworld, and sadly he was not elected, he did not get that rank by saving his people or leading a rebellion, none of that stuff. Nope, unfortunately, our favorite boss character got to that position by poisoning his boss. Yeah, didn't even beat him in Mortal Kombat or face him head on, nah, he just poisoned him, stabbed him in the back. Never indeed. He is a thief, a deceiver. And what's even funnier about that, and adds even more disrespect to the whole thing, is that Shao Kahn was his bodyguard. He was Onaga the Dragon King's bodyguard. That has to be the definition of irony. You hire somebody to protect you and ensure that you don't die, and then that's the person who poisons you and does you in. That's gotta be rough. However, even so, it just adds to the intelligence of Shao Kahn and how he plans ahead. He's not just brute force, he's also a strategist, and I love that about him. Awesome fact number 11, Shao Kahn does not have a species. For some reason. Goro's got a species. Devora has a species, Collector's part of a species, literally every character in Outworld, no matter how creepy they look in appearance, still has a species they hail from, but Shao Kahn is the odd exception. Once again, originally he was going to be Tarkatan, but that idea got scrapped completely, which means we don't know where Shao Kahn is actually from, or which species he belongs to. And honestly, I love that fact, I'm not gonna lie to you, I find it really cool that Shao Kahn has this mysterious origin, and that nobody knows where he's from, it's kinda like the Joker. You know, the Joker from Batman, right? There are some stories that have an origin, but none of them have been confirmed as canon, and then on top of that there was multiple Jokers at one point, so we're not quite sure where the original Joker is actually from. Which I find really cool, and once again, it's the same fact for Shao Kahn. We don't know what species he actually belongs to. It's never been confirmed. Now, of course, there are a bunch of theories out there from the fans, but none of it has been confirmed by the developers or writers. In fact, at one point, Shao Kahn was even Raiden's brother. Your dad's an elder god. If your father's an elder god, what does that make Khan? Shao Kahn is my brother. Yeah, that was actually a concept at one point, but thankfully that got scrapped, because even though it is kind of cool for like Raiden to be the good brother and Shao Kahn's the evil brother, kind of like Cain and Abel, I honestly prefer the fact that they're not related, even though it could make things a bit more deep, because you know the whole sibling rivalry thing, I prefer them to hate each other for their actions, their goals, and just their overall morals being so different. Awesome fact number 12, Shao Kahn is actually millions of years old, unless the writers just made a mistake. Let me explain. So in Armageddon, the dragon explains explains that they already knew about Shao Kahn's antics long before they sealed Taven and Dagon, and that's important because they were sealed after Shinnok was imprisoned. And according to Shinnok's ending in Mortal Kombat 4, Raiden imprisoned Shinnok for millions of years, which- For millions of years, I suffered in the bowels of the netherrealm. You, Thunder God, are responsible for my suffering. Now the piteous mortals of Earth will pay for my grief. Which means that Shao Kahn is also millions of years old, not just the original 10,000 that always gets floated around. And honestly, that's completely fine to me, because if Raiden is millions of years old, then it makes sense for his rival to also be millions of years old. However, it does make this next fact even funnier, Liu Kang is like 24 or something, and also a virgin. So yeah, Shao Kahn, the conqueror of realms, who's millions of years old, got defeated by a 20-something-year-old virgin. That's never gonna stop being funny to me. So there you have it, everyone. 10 awesome facts about Shao 
Khan, please request which character you want next in the comment section down below. And then while you're down there, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, it does help my channel out a ton. And then keep that combo going by subscribing and ringing that bell below, that way you never miss a future video. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.